<laughs> All right, we're back, and we got special guests. Oh yeah, listen, if we're talking four remakes, but we're talking Friday the Thirteenth, right. and there's nobody better than Jason. Jason. Yes, exactly. <laughs> when it was Friday the Thirteenth, like the back of his hand. This I, guy's I, a I, huge fan. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on on this particular remake. Yeah, please lead us in, man. Uh, Go for it. So you, 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 I was called to talk about the best thing since Michael Jordan. Oh. Because I know the two guys I'm sitting between. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Jason Voorhees. Ha! Friday the 13th, the remake, 2009. Or as I like to call it, uh, Jason meets the hills have eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. Um, point. I got a lot of thoughts about this movie. I mean, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad. Kind of like our thoughts on Halloween 2007, in a way. I mean, there, there's some good, some good, some bad. It's, it's kind of a mixed bag, right? Um, it does have its points. Um, Did you feel like they rushed through the beginning a little oh, bit? Uh, can I, and I don't want to cut you off here. Oh, that, no. that was one of the biggest things that bothered me about the remake. Uh, let's be honest, Pamela Voorhees was Friday the 13th. I mean, she was the driving right. force behind yeah. Jason throughout she the franchise. Is, no, but she is the original Friday the 13th. Right, yeah. Okay. The opening credits start of this, this remake, and within 30 seconds, she's dead. Yeah. And she has maybe three, four lines in the whole movie. Well, and the reason being is because... I people get it. want to see Jason. I, and, and I people that. forget that. But I feel like where Rob Zombie was right to give us that backstory a little bit more of Michael Myers, why can't we get a little bit more? Of yeah, yeah, yeah. A huge part of your I feel as though that if if the you know if those philosophies should have been flipped a little bit. What do you think? Well, they, they gave us uh, Friday the Thirteenth one, two, and three in the same movie. Yeah. But they, they, they rushed it. Yeah. But I well, which is why they it. shouldn't have done it that way. I, and I agree, but I, want to, but I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. About it. Seriously. Which, I I totally agree with you guys. I exactly following John's point. Uh, this remake was Friday the 13th, part 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Sandwiched all together in one nice little package. For better or for worse. Right. Um, but at the same time... I kind of feel that anybody who saw Freddy vs. Jason, that that opening scene where they bring him, Jason, back to life, Freddy, yeah. Freddy playing his mom. Yeah. I mean, you almost kind of go through that scenario. You see Jason's mom as long in that movie. I think you see her longer in that than you do in this yeah. one. Yes. I, I really do. I think you do. I think she gets more screen time. Not to mention, I still, I still kind of feel bad that they never really. At, in any of the later movies, asked Betsy Palmer to come back. I know she was yeah. upset. She had spoken out about, you know, not even being asked about coming out to, you know, I don't know if it was a money issue or they what the situation her voice was. was. Right. Yeah, I, 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 for me, I would love to see her play the part in Freddie Versace. Well, the thing awesome. that, and the truth is, without her performance in the original movie, yeah, it's, it's, it's arguable whether or not any of these sequels ever, whether the franchise even exists. Betsy Palmer is Pamela Voorhees. Oh, yeah. And, and I think, to my second point about this remake, I don't totally hate it. No, it's I, got, I don't hate it, no. it. It's got its It's points. a lot of fun. Uh, it brings <coughs> out different different aspects of Jason. We never saw him shoot a bow before. Right. We never saw him dig those tunnels underground and have, have that right. kind of... Uh, Almost tied out mentality and that intellect that he's smarter than what yeah, absolutely. they originally portrayed. Um, yeah. He was a mongoloid, but he he was never never came out and said Jason was stupid. Right. But I mean, there was always kind of that he was kind of slow. Right. The one thing, and I want to know if you guys agree with me on this. Um, the one thing I do think that the movie did accomplish is they absolutely nailed Jason correctly. I mean, I felt like I felt like they did a very good portrayal. No, of I, the I think Derek Mears did a great job as Jason. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would have liked to see like I, I, I would have liked to see him with the with the bag over his head and all that. And you got that for a know? small bit. Yeah. But it wasn't. It didn't look anything like it did in the original. Right. Part yeah. Part two. Um, I agree with Jay on that. I, I think it kind of. Uh, yeah, they did have him in the in the barn and all that. The, yeah, the makeup that. was very Hills Have Eyes ish. Yeah, it wasn't Jason that you're normally yeah. used to seeing. Right. You know? Jason and Parsula like Paul Heyman, 
when he had the long hair and, and yeah. a little bit of scraggly beard, and like Paul Heyman. Uh, and when he jumped through the window, that was Paul Heyman jumping through looking for Brock. Sorry, Lesnar. Paul Heyman. I'm just saying. Gar! It, 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 this, that's what it was. Um, and you didn't get that. You got a very, as Jay said, a very heels have eyes. Look yeah. To it. And, and, and it was. See, and this is the part of the panel where I'm going to uh, disagree. Okay. And he's no King Honor. And well, no, oh, me, no, 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 no. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. And, and, so and, and, so I why, know, and that's the thing. Why wouldn't they have brought King Honor back to Okay, kind of like why didn't they bring? Well, we'll talk about it later. Well, but you here's know, here's the thing, though, and I agree with Jay. Uh, with Michael Myers, anybody can play Michael Myers. Okay, well, yeah. I, I think Dick Warlock was, to me was one of the better Michael Myers. Uh, anybody can, uh, not anyone can play Freddy. Okay, and we're going to touch well, on that. Soon one person too. can play Freddy. Yeah. Okay, but Jason, when it comes down to an actual portrayal of Jason, Kane Hodder was no matter that he started late in the series, he oh, was he. Jason Voorhees. That man. Nailed that character, yeah. and nobody can play it like he ever has. Yeah, and that's just. That's now, I'm so interested to. I'm gonna want to watch this movie again with a different perspective and kind of see where you're coming. It's been a few years since yeah. I've seen it. Um, Same here. Same here. Uh, so, but uh, uh, not to mention the ending. Mm. Yeah, I just it's very questionable. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I know they were setting it up because, from what I had read, that yeah, it was supposed to be yeah. like a three-part series. Right. But yeah. so was the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Yeah, which we're going to touch on that one too. Yeah. Which, and I, I hate to speculate a little bit, I, I wouldn't have minded seeing like a Freddy vs. Jason from those two characters. Uh, well, it would have been different, yeah. yeah. Is that where they were going with it? Were nah, they I, see, I don't, I don't want to say that. Yeah. I never heard that right. officially. But, uh, it could have been, been so much talk over yeah. the years. There was well, I've heard movie. Michael Myers vs. Hellraiser. Oh, well, uh, there, there was even talk of doing Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. Yeah, because that was the yeah. the Necronomicon was actually in the play in uh, Jason Goes to Hell. So uh, actually did you hear book, a lot of the books as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did he say that? They, uh, in some of the reading that I've gone through, uh, they kind of go back and play into the early '40s history. Oh, okay. And one of his relatives actually gets the um, or Necronomicon. Oh wow! So they've kind of tied that in. Yeah, yeah. So. But that's kind of a touchy subject when it comes to the movies because right. of the rights of... Who well, it's kind of what they then. wanted to do with uh, Halloween and Hellraiser. They wanted the whole yeah. evil of Michael Myers to come from from Pinhead. You know, he you was see, sent I, there, I and that's why he wanted to kill his family. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> In any event, when you, try to, when, you, when you try to tie two movies together, <laughs> right. it worked very well with Freddy and Jason, I thought. That, that was the exception, though. That was the exception. the exception. But usually, in general speaking, when you try to try tie two different franchises together, you're going to create a lot of plot holes that you just can't overcome. No. Um, but but so what's going on with the franchise? I know it's in limbo, right? Yes. And and if anybody who means anything to this franchise is listening, Jason Blum, please, please, please listen. Yeah. To me. Please. We don't need to start from scratch again. Mm -hmm. Uh, forget about Elias Ward or he's... Yeah, we don't even know about the dad. We don't. We really don't. No. It's, at this point, it's a mute subject. Yep. I really don't care who Pam had a one-nighter with yep. or had a relationship that didn't end well with. It's none of my business. Nope. She seemed like a very nice lady. It's very nice. But I will say this. We don't need some other woman reprising Pamela's or he's rolled rather it's for 45 seconds for yeah. 45 minutes right. nope. we don't need to go there. we know who Jason is yes if if you want to reteach audiences that might not have known repackage the original DVD and resell it yeah and, and they've done that they actually just recently too yeah so you don't want to see any future installments no 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 no, no he does he I just want him to go back okay. into that back yeah. story yeah. we don't got a, a so how about story. a how about a direct sequel to the original series what do you think? Somebody like it, Jason Brown, picking it up. I don't know, man. I think. Or do you think they'd need? Uh, they had a, they had a good story with the new one. It's just the ending was going to. So pick up from there. I mean, or start completely from scratch, but don't go back. Don't go back the, to the beginning. We start don't need all that. We don't start, so start from like a Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Essentially, uh, area. Or you maybe. want to go further, or or you could start a movie with just. Listen, everybody knows the backstory. Right. A couple backstory. kids sitting around a campfire telling the story. Bam. You just set up your whole movie. You can right. pick up from anywhere. Sometimes the oh, simple, yeah. the simplest thing to do is the best. Yeah. But you know what's funny? We're, we're talking all these remakes, right? And um, we, we pretty much made a remake of our own. We did. We did. And, um, well, you know what? We're going to play that for you guys and see, see what you think about it. 
I feel like I feel like there are a couple uh, Academy Award winning performances in this. I maybe pretty soon just think a statue, a nice uh, golden statue yeah. on a shelf in the house here. Uh, well, you guys can take a look at that, and we'll be right back. experiencing exorcism. First, let's bless this house. This house has been blessed. Exercising the first demon. She's up this way. Up those stairs. Alright then. Our work's cut out for us. I can tell. Thank <laughs> you. 
power of Christ. She's levitating. Fans, check out and follow the Horror Guys. You can find them on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Horror Guys. On Twitter, Horror Guys 21, that's H O R R O R G U Y S 21. On YouTube, The Horror Guys. And also on Spotify, search for The Horror Guys. Beetle, 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 Beetle.